people. I always hear them talk about how people nasty and things where people do. You know, some clips all over the internet. But this one, uh, this one, I uh, go f above and beyond. This one, I just in a people house. I want a people in a, a shop where everybody I go go buy things. People, I go watch this video. Man, catch man, I wash him foot in a day. sink. Boss, you know what? It's just okay, bro. Huh? It's alright. <laughs> <laughs> <I can't... laughs> when they give up. Boss, you know what? Bro, leave the chicken, man. I'll, I'll buy from somewhere else. Man. Yeah, it's not very clean, you know. <laughs> huh? You're washing his feet in the sink, man. Come on, man. This is not good, bro. <laughs> you can't be washing your foot in the sink, man. <laughs> Bro, listen. I said chicken is here, not me. I'm trying to wash his foot in, in the, the water. sink. In the sink. <laughs> Big man. <laughs> you know you can't sell chicken and you're washing his foot in the sink, bro. He's washing his bath in it. No, the next v video will be, the next clip will be, bro. Is. I could have called my place. Little Jamaica, that's a New York City. Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens. I'll go to place this video. Along the same lines, some restaurants I do it. I watch them one else. Caribbean 
set aside the true Indian hair store. We have a Toronto Hansen, a Verity Glide, or a caravan to showing us the wall of famous clients from Rihanna to Beyonce, Mary Jane Blige, and Lizzo. I really do have the best set of sessions <laughs> in the other model world. Hers is a story of everything that's right about the Jamaican New York connection. Of nine children born on the island, she moved here at 12 years old, settling into East Flatbush. The most Jamaican that I know in New York is really hardworking people. A work ethic from her own mother. We watched her when we are new, new. And Carrie knew she had to take a chance. While visiting the country of India, she discovered the human hair industry and started bringing in extensions to sell in her neighborhood. It was just a side hustle. Um, but everyone loved it. So she seized that opportunity. Now she has three stores in Brooklyn, Manhattan, and Queens, and those celebrity clients. This has been successful, and that's a part to this day. It's like constantly keeping on, on top of the game, and it's a part of that Jamaican um, thing. That Jamaican thing in these neighborhoods, growing stronger for decades, is swelling new success stories like Allison Dunn's Hibiscus Blue, specializing in Jamaican. When you meet a Jamaican, the spirit, the energy, it's just welcoming, it's warming, it's exciting, so you know, it's spicy, so that's what we all bring here, and we'll bring it back to Jesus Nice. On his show, every guest describes himself with a neon sign, so I asked him, what would you put in if you could put a neon sign for Jamaicans in New York? I would put to the world, and to the eye world. Because that's just Jamaica. Jamaica is a small island, but it's produced so many things culturally, musically, just foods, and just things in general that it's dominated culture. Yeah, man, at least just to say, Jamaicans is not like one who try to portray most of the time as these gangsters and whatever. We're entrepreneurs, professionals, and all kind of good things too. But we don't want to talk about. I always choose to talk about the bad things, and, you know, where. I think those things. And most of the things for destabilize. Let me think. Let me let me ask you this question. Mm -hmm. If I just gave you both a million cash, how would you feel? I would be uh, extremely grateful. Pumped up. Pumped excited, up. Excited. I know what I, I know. What, I know what to do with it. So I would be extremely <laughs> happy. Would anybody be able to get you in a bad mood for a little while? Absolutely not. Okay. Deanna, would you agree? I would agree 100%. <laughs> I'd be okay. walking on cloud now, nine. Okay, now pay it on cloud nine, right? <laughs> yep. now, now, now listen, because this is big. If I had a bomb button, I'd press it. <laughs> you ready? Yep. If I said I'll give you the million. Matter of fact, I made it 10 million. Okay, uh-oh. But you couldn't wake up tomorrow. You're uh, done. Would you take it? Absolutely not. Okay, so what you're both saying is that waking up, just waking up tomorrow is worth more than $10 million? Mm, that's hell of a perspective. Right? That, yep, it is. Yeah. It well, is then why, worth then, then why ain't you feeling that way every damn time you wake up? <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. Wow. I feel good. Damn. <laughs> no, no, but that's a hell of a perspective. I, I, I never looked at it that way. Nobody does, dude. That's why we get up and we're all bummed out. We have a bad day and this sucks and that sucks. And the world hates me and that's not fair. And I, you know, I can't lose weight because of this reason. And I can't get in shape and I can't make money and blah, 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 blah. Guys, we woke up. It's going to be a good day. The question is, is how good is it going to get? Right. And if it doesn't get as good as we want, guess what? Hopefully we wake up the next day. And oh my God, I get another one? Holy moly, I get to try some more? It's gonna happen this day. And eventually, man, one will when you have that attitude, when you have that attitude of gratitude, and, you, and you're willing to put in the work, and, 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 you, and you continuously get this new information, so, so you can 
continually evolve in your beliefs, eventually, man, you're walking around like a magnet Absolutely. for freaking deals, opportunities. People freaking love you. The next thing you know, you're like, man, how come I ain't been doing this the whole time? Because well, you didn't know. If you knew better, you'd do better.